working on this MX500. I wanted to go faster, 36 volts. It was pretty fun, but I'm a little uh, over it, so tired of it. Now to go faster. I'm going to do 48 volts lithium with the same motor, a uh, new controller, TD Pro YK31C. Uh, TD Pro is the seller. If you just search that number, you'll find a ton of them. I'll put a link. And then there's the connectors in English. And there's my hand, fairly small. Uh, smaller than the stock one. Just generic connectors on there for the motor and the battery. Some plugs, which of course will not fit the stock MX stuff. I bought all this separate because I was too cheap and didn't want to buy the $60 eBay kit. Here's the handle I'm going to use. Got the voltmeter. I'm going to use this for on-off switch because I don't like the key. It's just something to lose. This was supposed to be for uh, three speeds, but I'll figure out. Be able to hook it up for on-off for that. And then I'm going to use the stock on-off switch on there. So that way if I can kill it, if there's a runaway or something like that, I not have to fumble trying to reach down there. And I'm just going to use bell connectors because I'm too cheap to buy connectors like this because I don't care if they plug in or not because hopefully I won't be doing this again for a while. I'll uh, grab some more vid here in a second. Of course I stripped the plastics off like four, five Allen's, two under the seat. There was two to get the red plastics off the tank. And then the tank, there was one in the middle, and then the two, and that one right there under the seat. Not too hard. I'm sure there's lots of other videos about that, so that's why I didn't make it. And I'll uh, get back to you in a second. All right, got the wiring mostly done. Uh, mounted temporarily, of course, but... So here's my 48-volt battery. Got it on eBay. Uh, let's see if there's a sticker still on here. Yep. It was $99, supposedly has a BMS in it, uh, put an XD90 on there, of course I forgot and I have to cut that other side off and clip it in there, got my charge wires wired up, used a little connector there, and a barrel connector to the 50, I forget, 54.6 volt power supply. Gets a little warm charging. I don't know if that's normal. I'll have to do some checking on that. I imagine it's a lot of volts. But anyways, so here is the TD Pro speed controller. I've got my power wires here, spade connected for here for now. I'll permanently mount this stuff later. I've got the wires to the factory on off switch there with a little connector. And then an inline 30 amp fuse. Maybe I'll have to go up to 40. I don't know. We'll see how it works. So here's all the connectors. I'll uh, post a picture of the wiring translation. And so charge port, I'm going to use that. So the charge port, I have a connector on my yellow wire that goes to the throttle to steal power for my volt readout. It grounds, I guess, through the twist grip. I don't know, I only have a hot on there and it reads fine. This other one, labeled power lock, see I got key written on there, is your key on off switch. So I'm gonna use that like as a kill switch if it runs away or something on the handlebars because I still have that power switch there to kill the bike. And then I used the three-speed switch gear thing, whatever you want to call it there. I'm using that as a kill switch. It's just a switch, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't care. So I've got two of the wires hooked up there. That is for the third because it's a three-position switch, so I'm not using that one. And then on here is the throttle. So it's blue, black, red, and green, black, red to the twist grip. I'll put a link in the description for the twist grip because it was way cheaper than all the quote unquote kits on eBay. Here's my motor harness coming down, black and red to yellow and blue. Had them switch, I was like, sure, black's gotta be blue, right? Now the motor spun backwards. So I switched them, now it goes forwards. 
and like I said, these are all just pushed in because I was too cheap to buy the kit. It was like, I don't know, on eBay, what's the 48 volt over bolt kits, like 60 bucks. I was like, mm, no, I got it for all this for like 20, the controller and the twist grips and the matching one on this side. Links will be added, and uh, I'll get all this mounted up and then show you then. So here we go, it's buttoned up a little bit more. I didn't have bolts, so we got more zip ties, but anyways, so here's the battery poking out the top. Trim the engine case. I need to trim it a little more so it doesn't saw through vibration. Tin snips work pretty good for that. Got my grip on, guess I can Peel that bad boy off. Huh? Yeah, I'll get it later. But anyways, protective cover. Got that all hooked up. Hit the power switch, and when I do, almost charged up from playing around the other day. It's a little low, but the way I did my switch, nothing. So to the right, our center is off, left is on, at least for the motor. And even with that off, you still got voltage. And that should keep me honest with the lithium, not let it go too low. And then also this uh, controller says 42 volts, plus or minus 0.5 volts cut off. So that should keep it from getting too low. I'll charge it up a little bit and then uh, make a test run. With the 30 or sorry, 24 volt controller I had in here, I clocked at 21 miles an hour on GPS on flat ground with the 48 volt. So now I'm hoping it'll be a little faster with a 48 volt controller with the 48 volt battery, take better advantage of the power. But we'll see. So got it all buttoned up temporarily. Everything zip tied together. Got the screws in the back of the seat. I didn't put these in yet because I don't have to take it apart or undo all that if I have to take it apart again. I don't have my brakes wires hooked up. I'll hook them up to the uh, the lights if I get a brake light. For now, it's right there. It seems to work fine. Got it all set up. 53 point. Can't tell if it's an O or an 8, but pretty charged. Let's take it for a drive. All right, let's see if I can hold this and drive at the same time. So that's full throttle uphill a little bit here. And the speed we got, no scary noises, and it all seems good. So there you have it. Seems to run well. Motor gets a little bit warm, not hardly to the touch. Battery stays cool. Wires stay cool. Seems like a win in my book. Uh, I only got 21 miles an hour on flat ground, which is the same as I was getting with a 36 volt controller. But the other controller, I don't know if it was the controller or the motor, was making some crazy sounds. I, I don't know how to describe it, but a whirring, whooshing slash electrical sound. But anyways. This seems safe and uh, hopefully it'll last. I'll uh, put links in the description for what I used and hopefully it helps you uh, do something with yours.